Welcome to Aeroid Channel and welcome back to Drawing Series. In this lecture, we are gonna look how model items work when we have assembly on our drawing. So we have this assembly, we have part 1, this one, we have part 2, and part 3. And we have a hole that goes through all, and we have this feature here on the top. So we want to put dimensions here using model item. So let's go to a notation and a model item. So we have few options here. We can go entire model, we can go selected feature, we can go selected component, and we can go only assembly. So let's start with the entire model. So when we choose entire model, and this is on mark for a drawing, then all dimensions that are in sketches mark for a drawing will appear here. So let's click OK. And now we see that we have those dimensions that are in sketches of those three parts marked for drawing. If we want some additional dimensions, we can go to Smart Dimension and put those dimensions. Let's go back, let's go undo. So let's go to Model Items again, and let's choose Selected Feature. So we're gonna choose this feature here, here on the top. So click on it. Now we see we have two dimensions here. We have 30 millimeters from this hole, and we have diameter of 10 millimeters. So let's exit. Let's try the third one, selected component. So let's click on this one, and let's choose this component, this pin. And now we got here the diameter of 20 millimeters. All those dimensions are created in Sketch and now are important into our drawing. Let's exit and let's show the fourth one. Fourth option that we have, only assembly. What this means? So we have this assembly and this assembly consists of three parts. Here we have a hole. This hole is not made in the part file. So this hole is not made in the part file 1, part file 2, and part file 3. This hole is created in the assembly file. When we create a feature in assembly file, we create assembly feature. And now if we choose here only assembly, then dimensions of those features that are created in assembly will appear here. So let's choose only assembly and OK. And now as we see, we got 10 millimeters. So when we are looking for assembly feature, the feature that is created in assembly, and we don't know if this feature is created in assembly or in the parts, we can use this, model items, and only assembly. And now we know that this hole is not created separately in part 1, part 2, and part 3, we know that it's created in the assembly file. And this is how we can use model items when we have assembly. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like, I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.